Okay, today I'm going to be talking about why reading is procrastination. Now, I just want to say there are a lot of self-help books that there's probably like a thousand popular ones that all say the same thing. They all say make good habits and, you know, wake up at 3 a.m. Uh, say so can just, uh, uh, you know, Robert Kiyosaki, 10 hour motivational speech, do what the 99% don't do. That's what they all say. And you know that you're going to get that that same message out of every single self imp self improvement book. Whew, it's cold. So, if you know you're going to get that message, why waste five, ten hours reading one book that you know you're not going to get value out of? And I f I feel like the point that people make when they say they read is cut is the reason is just so they can say they read. It, it, it really deep down doesn't provide much value if you are reading the same self-improvement book. Um, not the same self-improvement book, but like 200 self-improvement books that all say the same thing. Don't get me wrong, reading is good. It just depends on what you're reading. I'll tell you, I'll tell you why, where reading is not procrastination. Reading would not be procrastination if you were reading something super specific in what you want to learn if you're just reading for the purpose of reading what are you trying to learn for podcast if you're listening to podcasts for the purpose of learning like there are spanish podcasts there are stuff about nutrition on podcasts when you click on those you know exactly what you're going to learn you know you're going to learn about nutrition or spanish if you you know, not, not together, obviously, but, <laughs> but, um, if there's different podcasts, oh my gosh, okay. Jesus, you know, when, when you click on like a two hour video in Spanish, that's a podcast, you know, you're going to practice your Spanish with Spanish with that, um, podcast. But then when you're reading like, I don't know, small, what's it called? Atomic habits. <laughs> You know, you know exactly what you're going to get, but there's a problem. The message you're getting is the same message as every other book. <sighs> Yo, late night grinder, let's go. <sighs> it's like, why are you reading if you know what you're going to get? If you're not, if you're not there to learn a skill. Skill. Sorry, I, j I just had a moment where I'm thinking that's that's what I was trying to say the whole time, but I feel like I might I might need to reset this video to to just say that what I just said. If you're not reading to learn a specific skill or a specific thing, why are you wasting your time? If you if you're learning if your argument is like, okay, let me read self improvement books to be more productive. What what are you trying to be more productive on? What are you trying to do? Are you trying to maximize your efficiency and habits? Okay, then read a book about that. Are you trying to master your sleep? Read a book about sleep. Choose a topic. Don't read something that's like, like The Alchemist, for example. That's just a book about, it's, it's barely self-improvement. Like, <laughs> we had this self, or it's not really self-improvement book club, but it's, it's a book club about like philosophy of life and actually no that's just how I interpret it. We just have a book club. My friend group and and uh one of our friends moms they um yeah, I mean honestly we don't really read. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm reading that book book group chat cuz what am I really learning? I did when we first started out, I I did read The Alchemist for the book group chat, for the book club, and uh, it was it was an amazing book. It was very well written, but what did I learn from that? Nothing. It was just reading for the purpose of reading, and that's kind of the problem with reading. I really do think the people that do read self improvement books 
they just they really just do it to keep up with the habit of reading but what you really need to do like for example for me what i really need to do is read books on how to store read books on how to storytell and how to edit and maybe even like how to write a movie something like that that might be something i want to do in the future not even write a movie but directing editing a movie that sounds cool uh so yeah just just pick something specific don't just read for the purpose of reading oh it's kind of hard to balance my my that thin line from my opinion on saying i'm saying that you shouldn't read and saying to read specifically because it's a thin line where people might interpret it as don't read where that's not at all what i'm saying i'm saying the people that read self-improvement books and get the same message 500 times and read without specifically trying to look for something they're just hold on i gotta be quiet now my i'm in my i'm in my house now it is so cold those people gosh shoot how do i turn my flashlight on this those people that are reading are probably reading just so that they can say they read. And honestly, if you take notes on the books, I mean, when I used to read, when I when I actually found value in reading, or, or a lot more value, I, I still find value in reading, but not as much because I don't have anything specific that I want to learn. Back, back when I did used to read a lot, um, probably uh, 30 minutes a day during quarantine, I would take notes. And when you read those notes, you kind of realize there's not all too much to the book. Like you could probably summarize the whole book in two pages if you really, really tried. On Like this is just from my own experience. It might not be your experience because let me just say there are books about making money that I've read, like The Intelligent Investor. I read like four, four or 500 pages on that. And then I stopped because I realized I don't need that information right now because it's long-term investing. It's like investing over the span of 100 years. So I'm just going to read it when I am doing long-term investing. I'm doing short-term right now. So I, that's why I stopped reading it. But there was one book called um, Common Sense of Investing. And literally the whole book was just statistics and reasons why you should not invest in, um, I think it was mutual funds. I, I get the names mixed up, but it's, it's whatever fund is managed by a, a manager. Those funds do not invest in statistically only one out of like 250, six, not even succeed, but barely beat the market. So if you want to lose 99% of the time over the span of 20 years, invest in mutual funds. That is the whole book, the entire book. I'm a slow reader. It probably took me 10 hours, five, five, 10 hours to read that book. That is complete waste. I could have took those hours and actually learned something. So it just, it's really hard to express this, this opinion of, Re like don't it's not even don't read it's like how much value are you really getting out of the specific books you're reading because honestly if you're not trying to learn a skill why, why are you reading really really think about it why are you reading if you're reading to learn about about like nutrition fitness go ahead read take notes all that but if it ever becomes to the point where your time is not worth the knowledge you're getting and where you could have taken that time it took you to read, taken that time it took you to read and put it into your own business, then just choose a different book or don't even read. 
there's a point where if you're reading for an hour just for the point of reading for an hour and you're just barely learning stuff, put no drop drop reading, drop reading. Essentialize on your business and honestly, experience is the best teacher. I I don't I didn't think I would say that ever because I'm so I'm such a pers person that um before they do anything they research it like crazy like for hurdles I did hurdles for track and I researched it a lot before I even hurdled once and I really do think that helped but then over time I I still kind of had that obsession of researching hurdles and sure it did help but I was spending like maybe I don't know, an, like an hour a week researching that. And over time, that hour, every single week, I was barely learning stuff. Like one week, okay, I learned, learned, okay, this. Then next week, probably didn't learn anything. Next week, maybe learn this. And then next week, didn't learn anything. Next week, didn't learn anything. Next week, didn't learn anything. So it just got to the point where the only way I can learn is through experience. So don't waste your time reading if, if experience is all that you need. That's pretty much it. All I wanted to get at is don't waste your time reading. If one, you can learn from experience in in way less time than it takes you to read. In or like it's just a faster process. Learning is just a faster process if you're if you're actually doing it and applying it. And two don't don't be reading just for just to say yeah yeah i read every day i'm a reader look at me i read a book a week like come on bro let me see your notepad let me see let me see where you're applying that in your life right now because some like back to my back to those investing books i was those that was long-term investing i wasn't doing that at the time i do have um Let's see, like the power of habit. Pretty, it seems pretty basic, honestly. It's literally just Q, Q, uh, Q routine reward. That's all it is. Um, start with why. It's in the title, didn't have to read the book. Intelligent investor. Okay, this is pretty dense, but it's just about long term investing. And this right here, if I were to do, if I were to do stock trading or penny stock trading, this is what I would read. And, um, I just haven't read that because that's not what I'm doing. I can't even do that. My account for trading doesn't allow that. This, uh, okay. It makes sense to read it. It's, um, guide to financial freedom, but. The, for me, the way I'm getting to financial freedom is just through YouTube. So the only, like, why would I waste my time reading if I can put my time into YouTube? Um, I would recommend this book. This is for those skeptics. I mean, you just, you just gotta have an open mind for stuff like that. Let's see. And these, these are really the type of books that you you don't need it right away actually i take that back because this is this is a good book but um like mainly mainly books like the power of habit or never split the difference if you're not if your job is not negotiating don't don't read this book if you have something else to work on if you don't need help with mastering habits then don't read this book um, it, I mean, honestly, if you're starting a business, start with why it's a good book. I'd say, I'd say that's something where if you are starting a business, you or running a company, you need to re read stuff like that, where it gets specific. So yeah, just, just get specific when you're reading stuff like this. This is not specific. If you're just trying to look for something self-improvement related, related to read. It is specific if you are looking for specifically 
uh, neural neuroscience neurology um, and how to master habits like I said just don't waste your time reading if if you if you can input your time into your into your essentialized business all right peace out